Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another fabulous November to remember, uh, 2023 Scorpio season, Scorpio birthday, uh, Scorpio's essence, uh, love reading. Uh, this is a general love reading for my beautiful, amazing Scorpios. So only take the part that fits and discard the rest. I hope this video finds you vibing highly in the Scorpio-ish because it is all about the Scorpios. I said it's all about the Scorpios. Okay, okay, and that's on point blank, period. So, Scorpio, I pulled you a couple of cards from my tea cards, and we're going to get the tea. Okay, we're going to get the tea that's surrounding your energy. <laughs> okay, so check it out, Scorpios. <clears throat> now, remember in tarot, in using the energy, because that's how we're reading these cards, is based on the energy that each card represents. So, remember, it could be your energy or somebody in your energy field, someone in your surroundings. Someone that's heavily on your mind, that's influencing your life in some type of way. Don't have to be negative. Uh, somebody here who you're dealing with or the energy that is surrounding you that is um, either in your life or entering in your life. Okay. So the first card here you have Haystack. <clears throat> it says, Karma, you will reap what you sown. It's reaping season. It's harvesting season. This is the solstice uh Solstice, solstice something, y'all, okay? You know that this is Scorpio season here. And in this time of the year, in the fall energy is harvesting time. That's why we always see those um, <clears throat> uh, festival family things. It's the time to relax and gather what you have sown, what you have planted. Uh, it's time to reap what you sow. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like Spirit is also reminding you to... Um, Plant your karma wisely here. In other words, the thoughts that you think, that's what's going to come back. The words that we speak, that's what's going to manifest. Because check it out, underneath your clarifiers, you have the magician card. So spirit wants you to know that you are very, very magically empowering right about now. So be mindful of the energy because even the words that I speak right now, these are seeds that I that I am planting Um Every thought that I'm thinking about these cards, these are seeds that I'm planting as well. So the next time it comes around, make sure you're going to reap a uh, beautiful, uh, but I feel like you are, but I feel like spirit also wants you to just remind you that you are the magician in everything, every single thing that you do and every single energy that you operate and vibrate on. It's only planting seeds here. So check it out. <clears throat> You have haystack, and then you have your energy tower. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go, Scorpios. It says solid foundation, success with effort. See, this ain't no bad thing. See? I feel like what this represents is there must have been a major ending because right next to this, you do have a casket, which is, you know, that's, that's the unalive energy. Uh, so, you know, that this brings down things. Um, things may have came down in your life that no longer serves you. And as a result, you're going to uh, rebuild, uh, rebuild on a solid foundation. Uh, can't no termites get to it. Can't no false narratives. Can't nothing affect it once it's planted on solid grounds because of the seeds that you have sown here. <clears throat> and then you have right next to Haystack, you have dogs. It says getting together with friends and maybe getting together with your dogs here. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is a very, very good time for you to go out and hang out with your family and your friends because it's going to be very, very ther therapeutic for you and you could possibly be uh, gifted in some type of way here. And then, like I say, you have the casket here. It says someone going out of your life or the end of a situation here. See, it's right there next to uh, karma and then you have tower. And then your next two cards, Scorpio, is flowers and cobweb here. It says, flower says happiness. See there, Scorpios, you, you know they always say, uh, give me my flowers while I can still smell them. Because you know how people go to the funerals in their casket energy. Everybody wants to take the person here whose funeral that they're going to, all of the things that it's really irrelevant now because I, I figured out that the funerals are not for the unalive. They're for the alive because the unalive, I mean, if you already showed them that you love them when they are breathing, then that's really what matters. But 
Why bring somebody those beautiful flowers when they cannot use them and they don't even know about that? Because they over there, they over there on the other side, honey, living their best life, uh, stress and worry free. And then you have the, 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 the uh, main one here. So this is what spirit wants you to know that you don't have to be disheveled. You don't have to be over anxious. You don't have to doubt yourself. You don't have to live with anxiety. You don't have to worry about any type of enemies or oppositions whatsoever because you are totally, totally covered and protected by the highest energy of it all. That is the divine protection here. It says protected from negative forces beyond your control. See? Now, you know how sometimes, you know, you get sometimes when you are empath or you're spiritually um, vulnerable, you're psychic or some spiritual gifts here. It be, you become a sponge here. You, you, you uh, attract all types of energy here and all those energies are not good for your own energy. So spirit wants you to know that you are protected by uh, spiritual uh, wickedness, even in high places here. Remember that. They're the spiritual wickedness come from high spiritual places here. They're not uh, ordinary things here. So I feel like maybe you have ended some things and now you may have some opposition or, or spirit just wants you to know you don't have to worry about it. Don't trust what your eyes are telling you because, you know, as you begin to be happy and um, a solid foundation, success with effort, you could be attracting jealousy and envy too. You could even with this magician card, for some of you guys, you may have somebody here trying to send you some evil eye. Uh, send some type of spell work your way because of envious uh, jealousy here. But spirit wants you to know that you are protected. Scripture, no weapon warmed, uh, uh, no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Now it didn't say that they wouldn't uh, form. Oh yeah, they, they form all the time. That they do. They they form all the time. But it's not gonna it's not gonna touch you. You are safe and you are protected, Scorpio. So that's what you need to know about that now. I know you're very, very good. I know you are good. So this is why I can feel like maybe you got some envy around you. It could be a, a hating ex. Because look at your overall energy. You're just sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy your own seafood balls and things and things and things and things. You don't need nobody. You don't need nobody. But at the same time, you are an extraordinary catch, baby, in this nine of pentacles. And I feel like you're waiting on something. I see the three of ones. And some of you guys, Scorpio, in the Scorpio season, you're flexing. You're doing your own thing. And some people can't keep up. That's why Spirit wants you to know you're protected. And for some of you, Scorpios, if you were financially strapped or you were feeling inadequate or like you didn't have enough, you're about, all that's about to change here. But I don't feel like that's what it is. And for some of you guys, it is. But for others, somebody's feeling some type of way because you are totally, a uh, totally on a fleek. Okay? All right. So you got the nine of, we're going to take the nine of pentacles, the three of ones from the Scorpios. Now, why is this relating to Scorpios' love life? Because, you know, that's what we're talking about, love. So like I say here, you could be in this nine of pentacles energy looking out here and checking out the scene and see, well, you know, what, what kind of fish out there and things. You know what I'm saying? You nine of pentacles, you single, you're not thirsty, you ain't got to rush after nobody. And you could be out here trying to see what's out here. You out there doing whoo, 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 what they say, whoo, whoo, whoo. you all out there, you all out there. <laughs> oh, Scooby, you out here seeing what's out here. Okay, you out here being seeing what's out here because I feel like you can. Now, you could be waiting on something, but I feel like you're out here looking out here in the world, seeing what's out here. What do you have to work with? Uh, what, what is for you? And then you could be waiting on somebody. You could be checking out somebody here, too. Ooh, now see. Now, for some of you Scorpios, you all in this emperor energy, looking all goofy. <laughs> Cheesing like a chess cat because your world is good. And then for some of y'all, you got an emperor Aries that's waiting on you. Ooh, somebody here who's trying to act like they cool. Ooh, see that? But the whole time they obsessing. Poor thing. See there? The whole time they are obsessing over you. But they trying to... See, this is somebody here who try to keep their game face on. But you see how goofy they look. And now they stalking you because they like, God dang, the mama, you single? Damn, the mama ain't know you was single. How you do that there? Ooh, Scorpio, they say, how you do that there? Baby, give me some more of it. Ooh, Scorpio, see there? The sun, Leo energy. Look, 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 there. there's somebody checking you out. Look here, little shawty. I'm finna come in here and change your world, baby. <clears throat> Whoever this person is, it could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Capricorn. 
like I say, they are so anxious. So meet me at 11.30. I love it when you're talking dirty because I'm so anxious. So meet me at 11.30. I love it when you're talking dirty. Let's go, they like it when you talk dirty to them. <laughs> Or maybe they want to talk dirty to you, okay? But you see how he eyeing you. This person sitting here like, you know what? I, golly gee, shuck and shuck, shuck, shuck. I think I'm going to go on over here and just offer Scorpio. But what do I give Scorpio when Scorpio has it all? Now, for some of y'all, you, you you dealing with a G that is single, okay? And they checking you out, okay? It's almost like somebody waiting on you to make a move or, may, or maybe they waiting on the right time or something. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpios? Scorpios, what's going on with Scorpios? But some of y'all in this emperor, ooh, and they love you. King of Cups, baby, that's how they getting that. Ooh, now see these cards. <laughs> there you go, baby, see there? And I don't make this up. This is what the car's coming out here. See there? Somebody know when they look at you that you everything they want and need. See there? They go to Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Underneath the bottom, some of y'all dealing with a Gemini. So this is a very, a very, a very, 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 I said a vara, a vara. This is a vara. Vara, vara, vara. This is extremely passionate connection here. They got, I mean, this is the, do you see how they looking? Look how they looking for you. I've been looking for you. Haven't you heard? Oh, oh, I've been looking for you. Haven't you heard? You see, they, they said, God dang, where you been? I've been looking for you since. Look, and you know, it must be true. It must be somebody that you're not with. Cause where, where your car's at? You have the tower card. Now, we know it says solid foundation, success with effort. But we know ordinarily the tower don't represent that, do it? I mean, I guess it does after the fact. But you got to have a tower moment in order to build on a solid foundation. So, obviously, someone's world came down here. It says maybe this is karma for them or maybe this is a karmic cycle between you and this twin flame with the king, with the king and the queen of cups. But it says that you are protected because you got the devil energy. Ha, <laughs> snap. See? They stalking you. But see, Spirit say you protected. But this person got a, um, they got a thing for you, Scorpio. Yeah, and it's obsessive. Yeah, they got an obsessive thing for you. But Spirit say you protected. Like I said, for some of y'all, this person could very well be sending you love spells or trying to do some type of love thing here against your will. Then you have flowers, happiness. You have the sun card here, Scorpio. So that's your happiness. And then you have dogs. It says getting together with friends. You could possibly be about to get together with this king of cups because you got the page of pentacles here. Page of pentacles, the king of cups. And he look, 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 look. Now look at here. Look who he looking at. Look at that. Y'all kind of checking each other out here. See that? Look, look, look at that. He looking for you, Scorpios. See that, Scorpio? He had to make a U-turn, yeah. Because he was heading the wrong way. He had to start all over again. He had to make a U-turn. <laughs> Hashtag at King George, god dang it. I say he had to make an M and F and U-turn back to that god dang me cup. <laughs> He's just watching that cup. He's sitting there slobbing all on himself because he want to sip out that cup. And, and, and you got all your spiritual guides around you. So y'all may be healing right now. Y'all may be pouring back into your own self or your spirit because you remember you're heavily protected. These are your guards, your guides replenishing you. See there? You're heavily protected and guarded. You see there? You got all your guardians around you and this person sitting there and this person is like, look, I, I don't care about nothing you saying. I, 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 I'm just, I look, and I, I look, I, I, I'm trying to see, I, I'm trying to see what that cup be hitting like now. I'm trying to see if that cup's still as good as, as well. I, I remember it was. See, you know, that's how they saying, Scorpio. And like I say, you notice what they saying. Cause somebody say you the one for them. 
Somebody say, Lord of mercy. I believe I got me one in the name of Scorpios. Somebody say, I think I got me one right here. Uh, this is a choice with this Ace of Swords here. All right, so let, let's see. I said, let's see. Like I say, your overall energy is that Nine of Pentacles. Now, let's, who do you have here? You have the Nine of Pentacles here, uh, Page of Pentacles, the Devil, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got the Three of Wands. You have the Emperor, and you have the Sun card, Scorpios, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. And then you have the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, followed by the Tower card. That is your energy. Uh, you always show up in your own reading because you're bad like that. And then, of course, you have that Ace of Swords. But you got more air energy and the Lover's card, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. So let's start off with this Devil energy, Capricorn energy. I'm curious. Why is the Devil here for Scorpios? Clarify the Devil. I gotta make a U-turn, yeah. 1555, Eight of Pentacles. It says work. And this could be somebody here who is trying to work you off their mind. Because they. it's almost like somebody's trying not to watch you because they, maybe they're trying to work you off their mind here. <laughs> but maybe it ain't working. I can easily see somebody sitting here. Now, it could be you got this person here that's single. And all they do is work obsessively. And for the first time in their life, they're deciding that they want to really look out here and see what's really going on out here in the world. That somebody's looking for a bad bitch. <laughs> it's like, Scurry's like, did you call me? Did, did, did you call me? I feel like somebody's looking to fall in love. You see how they looking out here? They looking out here in this nine of pentacles saying, and, and I feel like it could be them. It could be you too, because you got the emperor. It's almost like somebody may be deciding to look out here and see what is out here. And then they're going to see you because I feel like any other time, all this person do is probably work. And then if this is somebody that, you know, this is somebody here who clearly, I feel like wants to work on a situation. See, somebody's manifesting you behind the scenes because Nothing is going on between the two of you right now, especially if this is someone that you may have uh, ended things with. All right, the devil. What's up with the devil for Scorpios? Four cups, there they go, baby. Sitting there, know that they bored, they ain't happy. See, this is somebody here. Now, it could be you, it could be you. See, and like I said, they cannot stop thinking about you, though. I guarantee you, if whatever work they putting down, God dang it, they ain't happy with the work. So it's almost like somebody said, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to have to go to work today. I'd rather be in Scorpio face. <laughs> I'd rather sit here and stalk Scorpio. Well, what, what am I doing with my life? I feel like somebody ain't happy like it is. And it could be you. You may not be happy. You may feel like you're in a toxic. For some of you guys, you may be in a very, very toxic job here. And you're, you're bored with this job. You're tired of the conflict. That's why the universe wants you to know that you are protected here, Scorpios. What's up with this devil energy for Scorpios? Ooh, two. Ooh, there they go. That's them. See that, toe? Now, either this is you, the emperor, or this is them. They ain't happy, though. They're not happy, though. See that? Because they want their love. They go to Ace of Cups again. They go to Ten of Cups. See? See that, Scorpio? I told you, this is somebody here who... Trying to keep their game face on, but really behind the scenes and in their energy, they are chaotic, okay? This is somebody here who is giddy with love, honey. And till you come back to them, they don't know what they gonna do. No, 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 no. See that, Scorpio? They don't know what to do, so they working, working, working. They working their fingers to the freaking bone with the devil card because they trying to get you off their mind, but I don't feel like it's working because even though they working, 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 they still ain't happy. I said because they want that cup. I said they want that a Scorpio's a cup above anybody else. So it could be other people trying to get this person to they're like, uh-uh, I'm waiting on Scorpio cup. See, here they is. 
They say, yeah, I know Scorpio feeling some type of way, but God dang, you know, I'm going to pass on them other couple. I don't know what kind of ingredients you use. You may not be even using organic ingredients like Scorpio does, so I'm going to have to wait on Scorpio here. See there? I said Scorpio, the Scorpio person and the obsession is real. Is it the, isn't it real? Now, let's check out this other. Now, this Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for my Scorpios? Could be dealing with the Aries. Sit around here looking goofy. They're like, man, I ain't seen you, man. You've been working, man. You look, look, God damn, somebody could have a beard and they look goofy. And somebody looking at this person like, God damn, man. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> man, are you even sleeping, man? God dang, I passed by your job. I seen you there this morning. I came back the next day. Your car's still there, man. Blink. Blink if you need some help, man. Well, what was it? Man, get that stupid grin off your face. Are you okay? <laughs> Please, SOS, somebody needs help. <laughs> oh, snap, Scorpio. You can see that they want to come in and offer their love because they want your love back, okay? All right, Nine of Pentacles. What's up with this Nine of Pentacles? Ooh, Justice, Libra energy. Balance, reciprocity, making things right. See, this is somebody here that know, god dang it, Somebody is realizing that they don't care what other devices that they try to use to meditate their thinking or to try to uh, 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 replace, replace something, replace an urgency, a desire. Um, somebody going to have to deal with it because like I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to avoid, it's there. It's, all, it's slapping them all in their face here. Slapping them all in their face. The truth. Clarity. They know what they need to know. Some of y'all dealing with the Libra. Nine of Pentacles, see? Five of Swords, there it is, see? So that's why your ass got the casket type of energy, you know, and things, you know? And yes, that's why it's a burden on you now because when you play them games, that's the, that's what happened. Some of you, your person could have been flexing their independence here, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, acting like they didn't want to commit it. And lo and behold, uh, as Scorpio per usual, uh, they done messed around and fell in love. Would you see there? A Scorpio was trying to warn you. See there? You should have fell in love when Scorpio was in love with you at first. You can't you can't uh, let Scorpio go on with Scorpio's life and then now, now you want Scorpio to retrieve those emotions that Scorpio had to get rid of. Six of Wands. I feel like somebody is recognizing that they need to make uh, amends, okay? With this Justice card, somebody is recognizing. See, there it is. There go that karma they was talking about here. It says... Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Whatever seeds that they have sown in this relationship is only what they're getting back. If you've been playing mind games all this goddamn time, ain't nobody gonna wanna be around that. I mean, duh. So this is what they're receiving. They're receiving karma here, Scorpio. And they're recognizing here. They play so many games. See there? Somebody don't like this. Somebody said that they want to move away from that because they got, see, somebody needs a heat. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right, what's up with this Emperor? The Scorpios, the other Emperor Aries energy. Who is this Emperor energy looking up here looking goofy? <laughs> Scorpio, you know, you know when you leave your people because they start looking goofy. They be stuck. They don't know what hit them. I'm telling you, they don't know what to do. They they just keep that pla they keep that plastic goofy grin on because that's a mask because they're trying to. They need to go outside in the rain. You may sound crazy, may sound crazy, but I wanna go outside in the rain. See there. Once the tears stop falling. See, they go judgment. Told you from my face. See, that that's your emperor. Your emperor is receiving karma. And here they goofy ass is again. They go to Page of Pentacle. They want to come make it right with you because once again, somebody is there they're because they're receiving karma. You got justice and a judgment, okay? And that's why they looking goofy because they know that whatever, whatever unhappiness they're going through now is their own fault because they got this relationship right here. See that scripture? Now, now I feel like they want to turn, turn it around because you got the king and the queen of cups. So if they were acting like they wasn't interested in you now, I mean, then. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, seven of pentacles. There they asses is waiting again. So that's them. Their emperor is the one who waiting. I feel like this person may have had you waiting. And now the shoe is on the other foot. And now they are waiting and they don't like it because this is part of their karma. See there? And this is something that they're not used to experiencing. See, king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. 
Because this is somebody here who think that they got it going on because they probably got a little money and things. You know how it is. You got the Nine of Pentacles. Now, for some of y'all, that's you. you both in the Nine of Pentacles, but they were selfish, abusive of their power here. So this is somebody here who is not used to the reverse, the roles being reversed on them. They're used to being able to do what they want to do. Because you remember your overall energy was the Magician card. But this is somebody here who has lost their power here. They go to High Priestess here. Somebody has lost their power here, Scorpios, against you here. I'm not going to take that King of Pentacles. Let's see, the Emperor, the Judgment, and the Seven of Pentacles. What's up with this Emperor? Two of Pentacles. See there, this person don't know what to do. Now, for some of you guys, whoever your person is, their money is not like, see, it keeps coming out. See, this is part of their karma too, Scorpios, that their money is not as good as it once was here, Okay. Because I feel like this is what somebody may have only been focusing on <clears throat> was themselves in that nine of pentacles. And, uh, you know, you know, you know how people put and look, I ain't saying that you ain't supposed to get stability. Yeah, but God dang, whatever happened to having it all? I'm just saying, huh? Exactly. So, see, they chose to run game with the five of swords and be very, very manipulative here. Um, and as a result, whoever your person is, they're receiving karma. So, it seems like their karma is making them more want you. Ain't that something? Their karma is making them want you even more. And so they cannot handle it. So they're trying to work it off, but it's not going to work. I feel like because somebody's realized they done messed around and fell in love. All right. Three of Wands for my Scorpios. What's up the Three of Wands? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. See, I feel like they waiting on it, but ain't nothing happening. <laughs> I feel like Spirit want this person to wait. So this is for folks, this is for some of y'all who Spirit's telling you, if somebody did you wrong, don't chase after them. Let, let their asses wait because they're the ones that need to make the sacrifice so that they can be uh, elevated spiritually. And this is exactly what I feel like is, is happening with this judgment and this justice. Now they're able to really see things from a different perspective and not this selfish way. And because Spirit is saying, let them chase you. They're the ones that need to make the sacrifice here. Don't, don't, don't give in. Just be patient, and they're going to come back around. Because that's what they're supposed to do. They're the ones that did it. I'm just saying. See? I tell you, they waiting on it. See? I told you, they. I tell you, that, that's why Spirit telling you, don't do nothing. See, because this person needs to be generous to you. They need to come in with some type of gifts. See there? If they want to come out the cold, that's what they got to do with the five and the six of pentacles. See? That's why spirits say, you ain't got to chase out this person. They finna come back around. That's what they're supposed to do. Because other than, their karma is hitting them so hard that if they really want you, they're going to have to put in the effort. And it's going to be in the forms of something tangible. See, there with the five and the, five and the six of pentacles. See, they feel left out, Scorpios. Now they know they got to do right by They go to six of cups. I tell you, they can't stop thinking about you. I'm telling you. Now you got the ace of cups. What's up with the ace of cups for Scorpios? Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. Woo. Now, for some of you Scorpios, y'all may be looking like, you know what? I got so many cups. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm talking about all of my love life is my cup. If it's running, it's over with. If it's this, I got options. Now, it could have been this person here. I, ooh. I feel like you're going to reframe yourself from this person because I feel like the only thing this person did was have you stand in your power. There you go, baby. Now, you know this wouldn't be... Oh, now you got the emperor and the empress. There she go. Uh, uh. See, this person realizes that, that you're not like the other freaking options. I can't, you know, just can't keep stressing that. They're finding all of this out, though, after the fact. Because everybody else probably chased after them. But y'all hold y'all self back. Y'all stand in y'all power. And here your person is. I feel like your person's been stubborn as hell, don't want to back down, and that's why they ass is, is, is sitting over here overworking themselves, looking goofy and geeky now. But whoever this person is, they're going to back, they, they're going to change this. One more card for the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, Aries, Scorpios. Look at here. Didn't I tell you? Some coming in for you, baby. I did not tell you. They got to they, they gotta make it rain on you. See? Look at here. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. That's what's befitting the Empress, ain't it? And then they go to Ten of Cups. See, you got the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Empress, the Strength, and the Ace of Pentacles here. Now, I feel like this is what somebody is doing. Like I say, for some of y'all, this could have been one of those 
goofies. Let's just call them a goofies that be like, man, I don't spend my money on them. I don't spend my man, I ain't finna spend my money on them. Nah, uh uh-uh, uh, man, they gonna get their own money. But spirit said, uh uh-uh, uh, that's not how you do no empress. You sitting around here like you all let as the emperor. Well, you got your empress here. You're gonna have to do better by this person because if I go back and look at the seeds that you have sown, you are guilty. With the justice and the freaking judgment here. That's why they're coming in here with the Bitcoin, Scorpio. All right, the sun card for Scorpio is going to be dealing with the Leo here. So this person has extremely been illuminated, Spirit, and I already checked this person. That's why they know they got to come in here with something big. Temperance, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. I feel like this is balancing out the scales between the two of you. And I feel like this is going to balance out any negativity that this person may have subjected you to because of their, their foolishness here. See? Do you think spirit ain't been dealing with this person? You got the sun card, tempers, and the freaking uh, uh, hermit card. Some of y'all dealing with it. All these are majors. See that scripture? Spirit is leading this person to you. See? See? See that scripture? It's almost like somebody may have been doing you wrong because they were a jerk. Just to come to find out the Spirit's telling this person, no, son, you did wrong. You, you don't, you're you not supposed to do that one like that. This one is a special kind. They're not like the other ones. But you should know that as the emperor, see? They go to nine of pentacles with the ten of cups. Somebody ready to take this leap of faith. Somebody's ready to jump. And look, and they go to queen of wands. So, I, oh, y'all must be in the queen of wands. So, like I said, y'all single, they single. See there, and I feel like you got other people coming after you. But look here, Scorpio, somebody don't want you out here like that. Somebody said, Lord, it ought to be a law against Scorpio all out here sexy and tempting folks. I'm going to have to take you out them streets. Scorpio, they're trying to get you out the streets, okay? <laughs> take you out the group chat. <laughs> Come and rescue me. Take me out the group. Take me out the streets. Take me out the... Come and rescue me. That's what they saying. They finna come and rescue you, god dang it. They finna take you out them goddamn me streets. Cause they say they say all of that good A Scorpio energy, I need it all for myself. See that? They finna take you off the streets. <laughs> so both of y'all single, god dang it. It's just that you was dealing with a selfish A person. And you had to show them who you really are or, or rather than what spirit did. All right, now here that goofy ass come. Page of Pentacles. What's up with the Page of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles, the magician. See there? Somebody feel like they know how to get you back because they're going to have to do something with that Ace of Pentacles, god dang it. Three of Pentacles. So somebody may want to partner up with you. Maybe somebody wants to see that go to that tower. See that there it is. Somebody made somebody's coming in to work as a unit, as a partnership. Put in their work, work together here towards, I feel like, a commitment, because we just saw the Ten of Cups. Like I said, somebody don't want you out here single. See that they go to Will of Fortune again. See? It's from this same person here. Now I feel like this is somebody here hoping that. This is a good time or this is the right thing to do, hoping that things will turn out better for them because I feel like somebody's realizing all of the things that they have done so far ain't, ain't been good for them. See, could be dealing with a cancer here. That somebody's ready to move on towards healing here, okay? I feel like now they're going to be spiritually guided to you, okay? Somebody intuitively know within the, you know, they can feel it in their heart. You know they can because you got the king and the queen of cups. Somebody really, really knows that you are the one for them, Scorpio. It's just a no. They feel it. They feel it. All right, the king of cups for Scorpios. Why is the king of cups here for Scorpios? King of cups. Now, here they come. Here they come, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mommy. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> I need a look, look at y'all. <laughs> Boy, nobody care. I don't give a crap if you ain't hit your ball to move. <laughs> Oh, so there they go again. See that scrubbing? Now they all in their freaking feelings. It just amazes me. What you won't do, do for love. You talked all that shit, but you got to get <laughs> in my world. Only you made me do for love what I would not do. See, that's going to make me do for love what I would not do. 
That's right, God dang it. Get your ass up there and do for love what you ordinarily don't do because you ain't dealing with an ordinary person. You're dealing with your freaking divine, okay? Act like you know it, okay? Act like you know it. Girl, you got it. Go and do your thing. Some of y'all doing y'all thing in that Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy. And this is why they looking at you like, look here now. Uh, maybe, maybe we should move in together. I'm just saying, uh, I want to make sure ain't nobody in that house with you. It could be what they're saying too. Because like, after all, they are watching you. <laughs> oh, they can't keep their eyes off you with your means. So they love that mean Scorpio. They, they love that. They, they love that stand up for yourself type of Scorpio. All right, King of Cups for Scorpios. What's up with this King of Cups towards Scorpio spirit? King of Cups. What's going on with this person for Scorpios? The world. A new cycle. Somebody wants to start all over again. They had to make a U-turn. Yeah. They said that they're not going to procrastinate any further. They know what they want because they got the Ace of Swords here. Somebody say, yeah, I was a jerk. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You called me in the time when I was going through some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. You got me, but it don't change the way that I feel about you, baby. See there? Here they come. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're coming in now. Ooh. Ooh. Zeros on zeros on zeros, baby. I told you this person has some substance, but then again, yeah, both of y'all are power couple. Don't you know, Scorpio, that you deserve uh, the best, not any mediocre relationship because you're not ordinary, baby. You are extraordinary, okay? As the empress with that there emperor, and maybe this is what they're realizing now. All right, now you got that queen of cups. Ooh, your cup is big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say your cup is huge. Ooh, hoo, hoo. and they like it. Ooh, wee, yeah. Queen of Cups for the Scorpios. Looking all sexy and fat. Ooh, see, I tell you they obsessing. Now, either they're obsessing on you or y'all obsessing on each other too. But maybe that's them because there it is again. Capricorn energy. You already got the thing. Like I said, what they're doing though... With they with they grown self. Look at they grown ass. What they're doing is that they're trying not to obsess over you, but it's not working. They go to devil, eight of pentacles, the four of cups. They're lost without you. It's so easy to see. They're lost without you. Don't ever go away. Say, don't ever go away. Too late, God dang it. Too late. You should have did what you done did. And then you wouldn't have that problem uh, with your grown self. Now, there they are playing them games with themselves, overworking themselves to the point where they're looking exhausted. <laughs> they looking a uh, goofy and extremely cheesy. <laughs> because they still obsessing over you, God dang it. They still obsessing over you, Scorpio. They are. All right, Queen of Cups and the Devil. Looking all goofy and things. See that? I told you. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, I tell you. I tell you when I tell you. When I tell you, I tell you. There they go. There they go. There they go. There they go. Look at that. They, they obsessing over you. You got the Queen of Cups, the Devil, and your twin flame soulmate, your King of Cups, all in their feelings, looking at you and gawking at you and they working and working and working but but please believe they're working and watching is what they're doing okay they're all in your energy okay they ain't went nowhere <laughs> they just waiting on you to come back see there i feel sorry for this person this person is almost like they just like what am i see they're holding on to you for dear life see there this is somebody here, Scorpio, who try to keep their game face on. See there, Scorpio? This person ain't going to want nobody else. They got to get over you first. See there? Ooh, Scorpio, one more card for this Queen of Cups. What's up with the Queen of Cups? Mm, see that? King of Swords. See there? <laughs> Oh, this person trying so hard, Scorpio, but they done lost the race. See what they trying to do? Don't you see that? <laughs> King of Swords, 
five, seven, nine of wands and the king of cups. And, and then underneath the bottom, the seven of wands. They're trying so hard to resist this. Don't you see? But they done lost. Oh, they have lost. They've lost the battle to a Scorpio's love. You know they have because you got the devil and the freaking queen of cups. They are, somebody is codependent. Somebody is obsessed with you. And it's not a bad thing, Scorpios. I feel like somebody is obsessing over you because they are really in love with you. And I feel like somebody tries so freaking hard to resist it and to uh, uh, not be affected by it. But this is all they ever think about. It's like they're obsessed about you. They're obsessed. They're obsessed because they are in love with you, Scorpios. And some of y'all in love with this person too, but y'all hit the stand up for yourself and keep it moving. And as a result, they're receiving karma and they feel like the only way they can get out of this negative energy of the Scorpio loss is to come back to Scorpio and give Scorpio everything. So Scorpio, this is your general love reading. Thank you guys so much. Happy birthday to you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a high vibrational comment. Thank you guys so much for your support, Scorpios. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, Scorpios. Yeah.